everybody, I'm Heather Knox, Chief Exec here in NHS Lancashire. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this short video today. First of all, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. Let's hope it's a better year for everybody than 2021 has been. However, we have started the new year uh, with a bit of a challenge as we see the Omicron variant uh, now manifesting itself in terms of hospital admissions which was, was predicted towards the end of the last year, but we're now seeing patients coming into hospital. I'll start today just by talking a bit about the numbers like I usually do. So the new case numbers in Lanarkshire yesterday were 1518, um, and they have been as high as over 3000. So that's gone up and down a bit um, over recent days. These are very high numbers. They're the highest numbers of new cases we've ever seen. Uh, and that, that is the case across Scotland. I'm expecting the numbers to increase as the schools go back and they go back, um, part of Lanarkshire goes back this week and then part of Lanarkshire goes back next week. So we'll probably see two impacts of that, uh, the schools going back. So we'll just see what the new case numbers look like over the next few weeks. We are seeing some of them translating now into hospital admissions. Um, so we've got 128 inpatients today across the three acute hospital sites. That has been as high as 139 over recent days. Uh, and again, it's moving up and down quite a bit, so we're not quite sure where that will go, um, but we think we could have another few quite difficult weeks as we go towards the end of January before things might start to come back down again. In terms of ICU patients, we have eight patients today, seven on CPAP, and um, a lot of our, over half of our care homes now have outbreaks. Um, and that has meant changes to visiting and we've also implemented changes to visiting within our hospital settings as well and that's really to protect our staff and our patients um, from the Omicron variant. Our boosters have gone very well, we're sitting with 366,000 people having had the booster and we look, it looks as if we will be rolling out a further uh, booster programme later in January. I also wanted to mention today something about staff wellbeing. I uh, do appreciate that we have stood down a lot of services and some staff have been moved around yet again and I appreciate for some staff they've been moved previously. So I just want to say thank you for your flexibility. It is very difficult um, moving into different places and rebuilding yet another team. I understand that. Um, so that can't be easy for people. We are looking to see what we can do to support staff wellbeing, particularly in those areas that are most pressurised, um, both within community services and within our hospital front doors and medical receiving units, uh, to see if we can support staff wellbeing at this difficult time. So please remember that there are a number of wellbeing supports available. Um, talk to people, use the supports, and try and keep yourself as mentally well as you can do during this period. Finally, I just wanted to mention that you'll know that our chair, uh, Nina Mahal, left us at the end of December after a number of years service uh, within the NHS Lanarkshire and she will be much missed. But I want to welcome Martin Hill, our new chair, who has now taken up the post and joined us. He was in the office yesterday. Some of you, when you see the face, might recognise the face because Martin has previously worked within NHS Lanarkshire. Uh, a few years ago now, I don't know exactly the year that he left, um, but he was the Deputy Chief Exec and, and Director of Transformation and Planning at that stage, so some of you may well recognise his face and you'll be seeing him uh, around and about the place as, as the pandemic allows, obviously, um, but he, he has now taken up post. He has an interest in sustainability and he also sits on the board of SIPA, so uh, I think he will bring that information to the board. And he was deputy chair in NHS Lothian, so he's not a stranger to NHS governance. So a huge welcome to Martin, and I know he will be out and about meeting with lots of you over the next few months. Stay safe and thank you for listening.